Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but if you want to see how I got this beautiful, flawless base, juicy lips, blinding eyes and highlighter for bloody, like, I think it was like 21 quid. Keep on watching. So I know I'm very acne scarred right now. I am having the time of my life with these disgusting things on my face, but I'm currently trying tretinoin and stuff like that. So I've got to deal with it because apparently it's like 12 weeks or something until you see a difference. So yeah, I'm just gonna deal with it. Hopefully you can deal with it and yeah. It is what it is. So, as you see about the title, I thought, let's do a Sheen kind of She Glam haul, if you will. So, if you've seen my previous video of the, um, the best primer I've ever tried, it's basically this one here. So, this is the Birthday, Pri Birthday Skin Primer by She Glam. And it's a beautiful primer that helps control oil, hydrates, blares, pores and imperfections. And it just gives you a beautiful layer to put your foundation on top of. So I've actually bought a backup of this because I loved it so much. But they've also released a brand new one. So this is the Birthday Skin Primer Pigment Perfector. It's a very strange um, kind of like texture and a very strange product, but I'm excited to see what it's like. I have a few other bits that I picked up because when I tried the primer, I did think, well, why not? Why don't I try a few other bits seeing as I really like this one? So that's what I did. I've got a cleanser, I've got a lip oil because they have like lip oils on there and they looked really intriguing and they really reminded me of the Kali Skin one. So I really wanted to get it and see what it was like. And for £3.49, I'd rather pay that than 22 quid for a Kali Skin one. Do you know what I mean? So yes, that's what I did. I've got that as well. We've got a couple of jelly primers, not jelly primers, the jelly eyeshadows. I've tried them on my hand and oh my giddy and god, I nearly pissed my pants because they are so good. And I also got an under eye primer for concealer. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of a play around, a little bit of fun and just see what happens. So starting with the Jelly Wow lip oil because I wanna keep my lips hydrated whilst I'm doing my makeup. So this is a hydrating lip oil. Um, they come in different um, different flavors, if you will. So this is basically said to hydrate. I got the coconut one, by the way. I think there's like a strawberry one, a watermelon one, and all that good stuff. And I think these are 2 99 or something like that, which just, how can you grumble at that price? So this basically says, ditch the gloss and reach for our moisturizing, non-sticky lip oil. It's infused with soothing coconut extract, hyaluronic acid, and squalane. So, I've already tried this, guys, and I can confirm it's exactly the same as the Kali Skin one. Like, the Kali Skin one is just so beautiful because it, it, it's not sticky, it's very hydrating, and this is exactly the same. So you can see when I'm put, putting it on, it's a high shine lip product. It feels really hydrating, you can smell the coconut in there. It's just an absolutely beautiful product. So it gives you a really beautiful, like shine without the stick of a gloss. Um, so this would be beautiful paired over the top of matte liquid lipsticks if you don't like the matte and you're gonna get a hydrated look. It smells of coconut, so you feel like you're on a holiday. The price point truly is incredible and I cannot wait to buy a few more of these because for the price point and the quality of the formula, it's amazing and I can confirm with high, like, with high whatever the word is, this is exactly the same formula as Kylie Skin and I love it. So let's talk cleanser. Now, when you see this cleanser, if you haven't already tried, again, Kylie Skin, this is why I got this cleanser. I love the Kylie Skin cleanser. It's beautiful. 
It's a little bit pricey, but not too much that like I grumble. I've used more expensive cleansers in the past. And this basically is a Radiant by Nature Combo Skin Face Cleanser. So if you've got like oily combo, you can, any skin type can use this basically, but it's more aimed at like, kind of like your combo oily normal. So it does have writing on it, but when you get to about here, it's a little bit hard to read, but basically it helps clean your skin on like a deep level, it helps um, minimise pores, it helps get rid of any um, like dead skin cells, texture, dirt, gram, everything. It also helps um, like purify but without stripping your skin. So let me show you this because it's quite unique. So it comes with this little protector which I find cute, like good for travelling. And when you take it off, you have this like little thing. I, I've just touched my face and I'm gonna go like that, but it's my product, so I can do what I want. And um, a good thing about this as well is, it's I think it's 100 mil. Yes, yeah, so it's 100 mil, great for traveling. And I've got hairs all over that. And um, so basically what this is, is it's really like, it's like a silicone kind of feel, but it's really like, it's not harsh basically. So I was a bit skeptical putting this on my face, but it's so gentle. Um, I, I thought they'd be a little bit harder and abrasive, but they are so gentle, guys, honestly. And it's basically like a two-in-one. So do you know like those exfoliators that you can get and the vibrate and the go over your skin? This is saving you money. And I think this cleanser was literally like three quid, four quid, five quid, something like that. How can you grumble at that price? You just, you just can't, like, you just can't. So what you do is, I'm not obviously gonna use it on camera, but I will show you kind of the gist. So what you do is you just pump it out like that and then there's your firm. And then what I like to do is I wet my face in the shower and I just put it all over my face and kind of like massage it in. So I'll do it on my hand here for you. So what the bristles are gonna do is really like exfoliate your skin and then it's gonna get it really deep into your pores, really clean out your skin. Um, it didn't burn or irritate me because I've got really sensitive skin, but this just feels beautiful. I didn't feel dry, I just felt clean. And I know sometimes people like can say that feeling clean is feeling dry, but for me, I didn't feel dry at all. Um, I just felt really nice and clean. Um, and I really like it. You can see how much of a beautiful firm it is. Um, a little really goes a long way. And that's what I like about the Carly Skin one. The Carly Skin one, you only need one pump and it really lathers and creams. And I will admit, Carly Skin is, it is a unique kind of cl cleansing firm because it really does cream so beautifully and I feel like it hydrates me. So it is a little bit different, but I mean, for the price point, you just, it's gonna be on your skin for like 30 seconds. But yeah, first impressions of this, I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm, I'll keep you updated on how this goes, but so far I absolutely love it. And again, for the price point, amazing. So let's get into the primer and then we can get into the makeup and then we can get into the jelly eyeshadows. So it comes in a little box. Now I think I paid like 4 99 or something for this primer, so super affordable. And like I say, the, the birthday primer is amazing. I absolutely love it and that was £4.99 £4 as well. So this is what she looks like. You can see it's kind of like a white texture as opposed to a pink one like the previous one. So this says, get that baby soft, flawless skin you were born with thanks to our pigment perfecting primer gel. The first step in your makeup routine, it forms a fan layer on your skin to soften, brighten and even out your complexion. Say bye bye to dark spots and hyperpigmentation and hello to a smooth canvas that sets your glam up for success. Not only will your products apply seamlessly, but they last longer and look like a dream. How can you grumble at that? And I just, I just hope it works. Like my, I'm kind of hoping it helps with my acne scarring as well whilst I'm wearing it. And who knows, I might prefer this over to the birthday skin. Who knows? So when you open it guys, it is a little bit messy and you can see the texture there. So it's just like a, kind of like a white 
like cream. The way they describe it is like a white gel. Um, I don't really know about the gel. I'd say it's more of like on the cream kind of vibe. And it does have kind of like a bit of an orange scent because I do believe that on the website they say that it's got orange. I think it's orange oil or something in there, which is really helpful to like brighten um, and hydrate, like kind of like a vitamin C. So let's just go ahead. Let's just apply it. So I'm just going to like spoon a bit off whatever <laughs> and then just kind of like apply it shall we apply it to one side of the face like i did the previous one and see what happens see if we can notice a difference okay so i'm not really sure if it's supposed to change color or if it's supposed to match your skin tone i don't think it will i think it will give people a bit of a white cast but let's just apply it and kind of see what happens now i will be rubbing this in a little bit more than the birthday skin primer um, just because the birthday skin one is like a pore blaring one um, and this one is supposed to like smooth over your skin and kind of like change colour I think but you can definitely smell that orange in there it's not too much, it smells okay to be honest I've definitely applied way too much and it's, it is kind of changing a bit of a colour but it's not adapting to like my skin tone kind of colour if that makes sense. I definitely think that this will give people with a deeper skin tone a white cast um, so I'm not sure that this is for every skin tone which is a bit disappointing and um, maybe they could bring out one with like for deeper skin tones but just applying it to myself I mean look at the difference like it is gonna leave a white cast I definitely think that it has kind of like covered a little bit of like my redness, a little bit of my acne scarring, um, especially like around here, I do have a bit of scarring around here and it definitely has covered it like a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like a colour, I do think it's just like kind of like a weird pigment, like a white pigment, but it's definitely, I definitely would say that it's blared a little bit and yeah it's definitely kind of like evened out my skin a little bit as well okay so while that is sinking into my skin i know i look very very weird and crazy but let's get into <laughs> this so this is the ready set primer so this is basically a primer for eyeshadow which i'm not actually going to use today i will put it a bit i put a bit on my hand um, and kind of show you the difference in pigment and um, but what i'm actually what i actually bought this for is underneath my eyes so i've seen an urban decay one where you put it underneath your eye tap it in and then it basically helps your concealer to stay there all day it doesn't crease so that's what i bought this for to kind of try this out because this was super cheap compared to the Urban Decay one and um, so I just got it to try basically. So this is what it looks like and then it, it does come with like a doe foot and um, so what I'll do is I'll apply a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'll show you like with and without kind of thing um, and then I'm gonna I am like I say I'm gonna use this for concealer so I kind of like I'll update you yeah, ish however I can with how that goes as well. But just applying it to my hand, you can't really see it because it is kind of like a creamy. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like. You can't see it. It's really clear. So it's really like universal for a lot of skin tones, which is amazing. At least I've got this part right. And then I'm just going to kind of give that a little tap with my finger. And then just taking an eyeshadow. So let's go in with this blue. So I'm just going to tap it. Where did I put it? I've lost where I put it. So I'm just going to put this here. That's the non-pram side. And then let's put this one on top. Oh my God. <gasps> definitely works. Definitely, definitely more pigmented. 100% more pigmented. Let's do, let's like kind of try and build this one up with the no primer. So that's like, I am trying to build it up. I'm literally swelling my finger in and then I'm just like swelling it. You can tell that it's like really patchy and weird. So then let's go in to this side. So just like swelling it. Yeah, 
it definitely, definitely makes them way more pigmented. Gets a thumbs up from me for eyeshadow. Quite impressed with that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just apply some underneath my eyes um, and I'll see kind of how my concealer applies over the top. And then again, what I'll do is I'll just go in with my finger and just lightly tap that into place. My concealer does kind of crease quite a bit. So this will be exciting to see what happens if it gives me even more coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation, powder, bronzer, and all that good stuff. And then we are gonna apply the um, the jelly primer, uh, jelly shadows and stuff. So be right back and I'll show you what this looks like. All right guys, so ignore the hair because I can't be bothered to style it. I've just finished my makeup and usually, my under eye has creased a little bit already. And um, from what I can see, touch wood, it hasn't creased. So I am going to, I'm gonna like kind of carry on using it as like an under eye, cons like kind of like stop increasing kind of thing. Um, and I will let you know how this goes. Um, I might actually do a little test uh, um, video on this and see how see how it works with different concealers because I do have concealers where they do crease underneath my eye no matter how much powder I use, no matter whatever I use. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want a little video on that because like I say for £3, £4 something and it stops concealer con like creasing and helps use less powder. I'm all in for that. So let me know if you want a dedicated video to that. So let's talk primer. What has it done? Has it done anything? Up close and personal in my mirror, I'm not seeing a major, major difference. Um, my forehead around up here kind of looks a little bit smoother than this side. Um, especially like here, I can see kind of like the creases. Um, I'm not seeing a massive difference, if I'm being honest. Like my pores, my pores kind of look the same. They don't look small and or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a massive difference. I feel like what it did do is kind of even my skin turn out prior to putting on foundation. I feel like, yes, it made me use less foundation. And um, obviously I can't see a white cast now. So people with a deeper skin turn may be able to use this just to kind of like give them a smoother canvas. It might look a bit ashy, but once you've got your foundation on, it should like, it might disappear. So to keep that in mind. But overall, I feel like the way you're gonna see the benefits of this primer is the wear time. So it's probably going to help your makeup last a little bit longer. Um, it definitely helped me save on using much. Um, so I probably could have gone in with a lighter foundation, um, which is always good. I will keep an open mind. I do really love the Birthday Skin Primer. So I will keep this in mind. I will see if it helps like with dark spots and stuff like that um, and hyperpigmentation. So yeah. I'll keep you all updated, but so far my makeup looks cute, but it also looks cute on the non prime side. So did it do much? We're gonna have to see, but the birthday, the other birthday skin primer, I really, really liked. But yeah, let's go on to the jelly eyeshadows. So She Glam do jelly shadows, and I, when I first saw these, I was kind of like, what are those? What the hell? Let's get them. They have such an amazing, amazing range of jelly eyeshadows. And I've never really used a jelly eyeshadow. I'm a bit like, what What are they? Like, what's the point? Um, but some of the colours look insane. And some of the formulas look just unbelievable out this world. And I think these were like £2 something, £2.99 or £3.99 or something like that. And you get quite a lot of products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them out. I'm going to show you up close, put them on my hand, and then I'll put them, I'm going to put them on my eye and face.
so this is what the packaging looks like it's pretty cute um i'll open them up and show you so i've got two different kind of like textures if you will so this is the first one and this is in the shade nerve glow i'm just going to use what's in the lid but you can see when i press it it's like a jelly like you not, not like not much comes away when you press it but when you do it on your finger like look how intense that is so this would be amazing as kind of like a highlighter which i will do i will use this as a highlighter but we're gonna do the eyeshadow first and then you know have a look at that but if i just put a little bit on my hand let's put it like here look how intense and blinding that is it's unreal it's like a beautiful like champagne -y gold it's beautiful so i'm gonna leave there for it there for a minute leave it to dry and i will show you that it does not move i did i tried these last night and I, I thought leave them to dry let's give them a rub and they did not move and that, I've, I've fallen in love with this brand i can tell you that right now so then this is the other shade now this is my favorite it's unbelievable and it's in the shade delirious and again i'm just going to take whatever's in the packet and you can see when i press it not like nothing comes away but when i turn my finger around look at that it is the most intense shimmery dreamy oh it's amazing like i am obsessed i need more of them right now but look at that when you turn to the side it kind of like disappears it looks like you haven't got anything on it's beautiful it's kind of like an iridescent shade as well so it's got like blue pink purple um like a bit of gold in there like it's just absolutely un real like if i just tap into this you are these are going to last you such a long time because you literally need the tiniest amount of pigment um, and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it right next to that gold shade there like look how intense that is bearing in mind i've only got one ring light turned on for my light in how unbelievable are they so whilst they are drying i am going to put them on my eye i'm going to do one on this um, eye and one on the other now this is really good because you can kind of like you know do a do like a really nice brown color and you can do pretty much anything like a blue through your crease and then this i'm just literally going to put them on my eye just for a bit of fun because i'm washing my face after this anyway so yeah let's get them on my eye and I'll, I'll use them as highlighter as well so let's just dip my finger in and i'm gonna put this one on this eye so i don't have any primer on my lid at all and um, so i'm just literally going in straight on top so what you could do with this is kind of like set it with a little bit of loose powder if you put foundation on and just literally shove this straight on which is probably what i'm gonna do for work um just so i've got like a really nice glitzy eye but you can see i'm gonna bring it right up right into the temple but i'm hoping you can see just how like just gives you a bit of something it's absolutely beautiful you can see how beautiful this would be with um you know like a brown cut crease or anything like that like even if you take your bronzer and kind of like put the bronzer through the crease and then do it it's just beautiful i am obsessed with these and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take a little bit and just use it as a highlighter straight on the cheek and just blend it in with my finger and it's not removing any of my makeup which is good so you can put these on top of powder and then there we have a blinding blinding champagne gold highlighter how beautiful does that look on my skin because i do wear fake tan that looks unbelievable so using it as you know a highlighter or on your eye it's gonna look stunning i am actually gonna be using this way more at work because it just looks stunning so these should be dry by now so let's get my finger ready let's use this finger because there's hardly anything on that and then i'm gonna literally just start rubbing like you can see 
they literally don't move. Like, they have moved a little bit, but not, like, loads. I feel like, th because this one is glittery, it's kind of, like, come off a little bit because it is glitter. Um, but you can literally see that they've not even smudged. I, uh, it makes me so horny. So then going in with my favourite shade, oh, I just, I'm just going to cream right all over. Here we go. Oh my, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my. And then look at that one. How unbelievable is that? It's absolutely unreal. In real life, it literally looks like my lids. Iridescent, wet, beautiful. Ugh, this would be beautiful with a black wing. <gasps> oh my God, that is what I'm going to do um, for a makeup look. A black wing, wing and then this. Oh my God. And then I'm just going to take a bit and then I'm going to use it as highlighter again. And look at that and because this is kind of like an iridescent one it won't like look gray because when you turn to the side it literally looks like you don't have anything on like it doesn't leave a cast it doesn't like look horrible or anything and then when you turn to the side it's like boom boom can you see why i'm obsessed with she glam the cleanser's beautiful the primers are beautiful the lip oils are insane and now these jelly eyeshadows for the price like i've said throughout this video for the price how can you like grumble and go wrong like have you not seen my face right now so guys that brings us to the end of this she glam haul i will definitely be doing another one of these because there is so much that i want to try and um, they've got foundations that I want to try, bronzers. I'm definitely getting more shades of these jelly eyeshadows because they are insane. This, this one, no, not this one. This one right here is going to be a staple. I'm getting a backup of this one because as highlighter, it's just absolutely stunning. And just the possibilities are endless with these and they literally stay on forever like oh i'm just so excited it's amazing so yeah guys if you want to check out any of these products they can be located on sheen which is the website or app and um, i don't have a discount code or anything like that but i'm hoping one day i might because i am obsessed i love it when i find a brand that i absolutely love and this is one of those brands it's just so affordable and just absolutely unbelievable and yeah i'm so happy that i found it so let me know what you think. I know it's not really much of a makeup look as per se, but it's just like a cute fun try on. And yeah, let me know what your favorite products was. What did you like? What do you not look like the look of? What have you tried from Shein? And yeah, I'm, oh, I'm obsessed. See you in my next video. Have a good, um, I don't know, have a good life. Catch you later guys, bye.